today we're diving into the foreclosure versus short sale and why you need to act fast. Here's the cold hard truth about foreclosures. It's not going away and the clock is ticking. The longer you wait, the fewer options you have to your benefit. But before you panic, know that you're not alone. Thousands of homeowners are in the same situation every year. And the good news is that you've got options and knowing the difference between a foreclosure and a short sale can make all the difference for your future. So let's break it down together, shall we? Let's talk about the foreclosure first. Foreclosure is when the bank takes back your home because you've fallen behind on your mortgage payments. It's scary and let me tell you, it comes with some heavy consequences like losing your home, your credit score taking a massive hit, and that foreclosure staying on your record for years. Not to mention, it's a stressful, drawn out process. Once a foreclosure happens, it can feel like your options are out the window and no one wants that. But here's what it gets real. If you're already in pre-foreclosure, you still have time. This is your window of opportunity and that's where a short sale comes in. A short sale, on the other hand, is a much better alternative to foreclosure. It's when your lender agrees to let you sell your home for less than what you owe on the mortgage. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not actually. In fact, a short sale could be your best way out protecting your credit, relieving your debt, and even giving you the chance to rebuild faster and get back to normal. Yes, you're selling your house for less than the total mortgage debt, but let's think long term. A short sale stays on your credit for far less time than a foreclosure. Think two to three years versus seven. And the best part, you may be eligible for relocation assistance and some homeowners even walk away with cash in hand. Does that sound like a win-win? I, I see this as an absolute win. I think so. Here's the kicker. You can't just sit back and hope that things will miraculously fix themselves. Time is not on your side, my friend. If you're facing foreclosure, I know how overwhelming things might feel right now. Your bills are piling up, the phone calls don't even stop, and you're wondering if there's a way out from the stress, right? But what if I told you that there is a way to avoid foreclosure, save your credit, and maybe even walk away with a little extra cash in your pocket? Stick with me here because the foreclosure process doesn't wait for you to figure things out. In fact, the longer you wait, the fewer options you have at your disposal. And if you're already in pre-foreclosure, this is the time to act right now. The banks aren't going to call you with solutions. They're going to wait until the clock runs out and then they'll swoop in and take your house away from you. Is this what you want? No, I didn't think so. But if you reach out to me, I can help you navigate the process and keep you from that nightmare. We've got to move fast, but together we can turn things around. Now let's break down the key differences between a foreclosure and a short sale with this simple chart that I have. These five categories will give you a better idea of how each option impacts you. First, look at the impact on your credit score. The foreclosure hits your credit the hardest. It's right there at the top. If your home gets foreclosed on, your credit score can drop by as much as 200 points or even more, making it tough to borrow money in the future. With a short sale, on the other hand, it's still a hit, but it's a much smaller one in comparison to the foreclosure. Next, we have the time it takes to recover your credit. With a foreclosure, you're looking at a recovery period of up to seven years. That's a very long time to rebuild, especially if you're thinking about buying another home. With a short sale, the damage doesn't last nearly as long, usually around two to three years, depending on your situation. Now let's talk about the control over the sale. In a foreclosure, you lose all the control. The bank takes over and you're out of the loop. 
you're on the bank's timeline and they want their money back. With a short sale though, however, you stay in control. You get to work with a real estate agent, set the price and ultimately decide how the sale goes down. Banks have attorneys working for them. A real estate agent is working for you and in your favor. Another big difference is the cash relocation assistance. In a foreclosure, you get nothing. But in many short sales, there's something called relocation assistance which could mean a cash incentive from your lender to help you move out of your home. It's not always guaranteed, but you know what? It's something that foreclosure simply does not offer. And lastly, and perhaps more importantly, is your ability to purchase another home. With foreclosure, it could take years before you qualify for another mortgage. But with a short sale, many homeowners can buy a home again in as little as two years. That's like a huge, huge difference, especially if you're not planning to rent for the rest of your life and if homeownership is still in your future plans. So here's the deal. Foreclosure might seem like it's inevitable. You don't have to lose everything. You don't have to destroy your credit, but you've got to act fast. Don't wait until the last minute when your back is against the wall. I know this is overwhelming and that's why I'm here to take that weight off your shoulders. Let's figure out what option is best for you, but first you need to reach out. You might be thinking, how do I even price my house the right way? How do I price my house to sell quickly and profitably? You don't want to make any mistakes or missteps here. So click on the next video where I break down the exact steps to price your house right and sell it fast, even in a tricky situation like this.